Hey everybody, it's Jason with Parallel Reality back with you here for another video today. So, uh, what we have here uh, is from March 11th. says that Nikki Freed accidentally admits there's porn in schools to own Ron DeSantis. Now, I know I said a boo-boo word for YouTube, so we'll see what happens there. Not monetized yet, so probably nothing's going to happen. But still, got to watch that. Uh, in any case... Well, first, for people that don't know, Nikki Freed is someone that she, I think she's like the head of the department or was the head of the Department of Agriculture. Now, now I think she's the head of the Florida uh, Democratic Party. Um, she regularly beclowns herself on Twitter. Um, she uh, was also someone that was going to uh, put herself in the running for governor of Florida before the last election cycle. And she lost in the primary to Charlie Crist, who then went on gotten his uh, ass absolutely handed to him by Ron DeSantis in the general election. Um, but again, coming back to Nikki Freed, she tends to make a complete fool of herself on pretty regular occasions. Um, and this is no different. Um, so you're about to, we're about to find that out. So the story here is that it says Governor DeSantis is on the warpath and giving a master class on how to stick it to the left, which you're going to find out he really does here. He released a video detailing the disgusting and pornographic books uh, the American Library Association and their acolytes in school libraries are inserting into elementary and middle schools without parental notice. Uh, the video is actually down here. It is linked uh, in the description, so or you can also go to the PJ Media site and look for the article itself. It's an hour-long video. It's actually excuse me, just short of an hour, um, but the governor himself goes through uh, pretty much everything uh, about the supposed book bannings that are not actually happening and about, um, you know, you, you've probably heard a lot if you're a frequent MSNBC or CNN uh, watcher about uh, certain, uh, like, uh, black history not being taught, which, again, is completely fabricated. Um, because of course it is because they have to do anything to make Ron DeSantis look bad, but watch this video. And uh, I should mention too, that he doesn't actually come up on stage. The governor that is until about, I think like seven, seven and a half minutes into the video. Uh, so you can kind of just fast forward to there. And then he got about another 50 minutes to go on it. Um, but again, give it a watch. It's definitely very informative. So, uh, what happened here um, is, I'll scroll down, and Nikki Freed, who says, as I mentioned earlier, ran against DeSantis and lost in the Democrat primary to Charlie Crist. She posted a screenshot here of one of the pornographic books and accused DeSantis of posting uh, butt plug prawn, is what we're going to start calling that from now on to avoid the YouTube algorithm. Um, and, of course, as this article has in italics, we've been trying to tell you that. So I'm not going to click on view on here because it'll pull up the offensive images and that is a, a no-no for YouTube so that it's not going to be a thing that happens. Of course, if you come to this article, feel free to click on it yourself. Um, so she posted Ron posting butt plug prawn to own the libs. So Nikki, by saying that you're admitting that this stuff is in schools, which your side has been saying isn't a thing. I don't think this went how you thought it was going to. Um, so then uh, she tried to come back after that, and I don't see that next tweet here, but she did actually say what it says here. It says, of course, this book doesn't belong in school. Again, we know we've been trying to tell you this, but which Republican education commissioner or governor allowed it to be there? She wrote, trying to deflect the blame to anyone other than Democrats. So as the article says, that's an interesting question. How did the books get there? And, uh, and the answer isn't the education commissioner or governor, or I should say the Republican education commissioner or governor. The books are curated and distributed by the American Library Association. It's a well-established fact that school libraries get lists of recommended books to carry from the ALA, that's the American Library Association, and many times school librarians don't review the books because the ALA has been the main source for stocking libraries with children's books for decades, and librarians rely on and trust the ALA when they say they have selected books appropriate for children. And there's a link down here that says a list of books that the ALA recommends for children in the third to fifth grade. And the rest of the article here, though, is actually about um, the, the authors. Uh, this is the author here, Megan Fox, not the actress. Um, but she actually talks about uh, the stuff that she's seen from her uh, daughter and stuff like that. And some stuff about the ALA, who is an extreme leftist organization at this point, as a lot of these organizations have turned out to be. So... 
Uh, just, just wanted to point out that, um, first, if you're under someone that's under the impression that there is some sort of book banning going on in Florida, it behooves you to watch the video that is down here, uh, because every single notion you have about it is going to be obliterated because the stuff just isn't happening. And there's even YouTubers that I listen to regularly that have come out and are, are you know, usually people that I would think are fairly free thinkers, and I'm thinking of someone specifically that I will not name here. I'm just isn't the I don't want to do the shout out uh, sort of thing. Normally, I would just recommend it, uh, the channel, but I'm I, in this case I'm not. Someone again who is normally a very free thinker, but then for some reason when it comes to this issue, just has decided to adopt uh, the mainstream media narrative about this uh, without seemingly looking into it even like do the most cursory search because you can find out really quickly that this is just not a thing that's happening. So again, if you're in Florida or if you're anywhere else and you think this, these book bannings are going on, they're not okay. And you can very easily find that out. And I'd like you to do that on your own. But again, you can watch this video where the governor talks about all of it himself and he debunks all the, ho all the hoaxes himself. So that was all I wanted to say. Uh, thank you for listening. Please like share and subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye.